Hello YouTube, this is Charles. When you're fixing computers, uh, it's very frustrating to go through a lot of measurement, a lot of diagnostic, sometimes even replace parts on the motherboard which were, were actually fine, and later to find out that the problem of your laptop or motherboard was actually very minor. You know, these laptops are designed in the way that they can self-diagnose and find out where the problem is and communicate that information through codes. And one of these codes are these LED indicators, then the fan, and sometimes they use the beep. So some of these laptops, when you have an ELA, they do the beep, they do beeps, because mostly in Dell, they do have such kind of flashing LEDs and then the fan itself can indicate and tell you if your laptop has got a problem. The difficult thing is decoding those codes because if you see such kind of lights flashing around and you can't know what they actually mean so you end up wasting a lot of time trying to replace different parts and later find out that the laptop was good. So today I want to go through these common LEDs that are very common in HP laptops and tell you their meaning and probably you can easily diagnose and fix in a laptop so faster. So the first one is this one. You see, I've not pressed the power button, but the laptop keeps on flashing. The power button, the caps lock, and this indicator here. Even if I press the power button, the laptop does not turn on. When I put the charger, it immediately does this flashing light. Now, this flashing light actually indicates a very common problem. Let me bring another charger. So when I plug in this, you see the difference? This one is not blinking. And please don't be mistaken, both these chargers have got 19 volts. You see, this one is 19.7. And this one is also 19.69, almost the same. But what's the difference? That when I put this one, the laptop keeps on flashing and does not turn on. But when I put this one, does not keep flashing and it actually turns on. You see? So the difference is inside here. If you guys can look inside this charger, you see that this charger has what we call a middle pin. Yeah, when you look inside these chargers, you see that this one has got a middle pin. But this one doesn't have. In fact, this one broke. So, that is the difference. When the laptop cannot get feedback from this middle pin, it will make that such kind of flash and the laptop will not turn on. This is very common in HP laptops that are new, basically fourth gen and above. In third gen, there is a LED light, which is usually here or here where I plug in the charger. This LED light, which is always red, will keep on flashing and the laptop will not turn on. So another LED, you see this one is turning on right now, I'm using the other charger. You see the caps lock and the screw lock.
this one is flashing three times and after flashing you hear the fan spinning very very fast so this one is a indication of RAM basically if you have fault RAM or you don't have RAM it will give this kind of blinking so let me put RAM and you see the difference So with an, a good RAM, the caps lock don't blink. With a good charger, these buttons and the caps lock don't flash, and the laptop turns on. So that's the difference. Now, there is another common and quite advanced LED. <coughs> this happens due to when your BIOS has got a problem. I'm going to do it so that you guys can see the difference. I'm going to take off one of these BIOS and then you'll see the different kind of blinks this laptop is going to make. So what I have done on this one, I've displaced one of the resistors that do communication on the BIOS. I don't know if you can see it, but let me bring close. Now if you can see, I've moved this resistor from here to here. So it's not connected to pin 1 of this BIOS. This is the resistor that comes from pin 1 and then it connects to the processor. So I'm going to plug in the charger and you see a different kind of red. So it's cool, let me plug in the charger. Now, can you see the difference here? This LED is blinking orange and white continuously without turning on. Even if you press the power button, nothing happens. So this one is an indication of a fault bios and this one is very common so what i did i disconnected one of the resistor that communicates from pin one of the processor bios so it means the processor can not get bios information from the chip because one of the resistor is out and this is what usually happens even when the laptop bios is faulty so let me put back this resistor and then you will see a difference. So you can see now this resistor is back in position. And 
To be honest, I've come across this problem several times. This resistor measures 33 ohms and it's very common to find it measuring below 33 ohms. Sometimes they measure more than 33 ohms. Alright, so now let me put back the charger. You see the difference? So it is going to take some time to display because I've reset the BIOS. Yeah. So right now it turns on. Okay, now those are just the three different lead codes that I've shown you, but there are very many different kind of signals that laptop can give you to show you that there is a problem or this kind of problem is the one that your laptop is having. So in the description I've put a link where you can download a PDF document that has got different leads and their meaning in different HP laptops. However, you know, these leads don't entirely mean the same. Like the lead you have been seeing here for the BIOS could still blink for the BIOS, could still blink for a shorted secondary power supply, would still do the same if there is no power good signals. So always at least you can use this information to guide you when you're diagonizing and fixing laptops. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching. If you find this video interesting, you can share it. If you have any question, you can give me a comment. I'll be able to answer you. And you can probably subscribe because I'll be making more videos like this in the future. Alright. Thanks guys and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.